Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about the world's strongest coffee. Yes, people, I finally got my hands on some Death Wish coffee. It's been two years in the making. I've literally had this in my Amazon cart forever and ever and ever, and I could not justify the price point. But I figured something out that you're going to learn in this video, which is super, super awesome. So in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the bag. Then we're going to cut that bad boy open and take a look at those beans. After that, we're going to throw those bad boys over to the burr grinder and break those things down. Perfect for, you got it, the pour over. After that, I'm going to do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee. And I think this one is going to be a dark roast. <laughs> and I may die. I don't know. This is death wish, people. Woo! After that, we're going to figure out, is this something you could drink daily, weekly, monthly, or never? It does happen, people. It does happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. You got the Death Wish logo on the front, the world's strongest coffee. I'm hoping that's the case. I am a coffee fanatic. Dark roast, whole bean, one El Poundo. That is what's up, people. Ingredients, <laughs> certified organic coffee. Boom, that's all you need to know. A little bit more information on the side. Take a look at the back. Warning, I love that. Woo, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen the back of one of these. I've always seen pictures at the front. That is bad to the ASS. Take a look at the side over here. All right, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Take a look at the beans. Okay, the aroma coming out of here is not super crazy. I was kind of expecting the aroma to be just in your face bold, but not really that bold. Um, I love the fact that the inside is blood red. That is badass, people. That is so cool. Let's take a look at these beans real quick. I don't know why I'm expecting these beans to be like super, super beans that don't really exist anywhere else. Um, but what I'm seeing here is very, very similar and very reminiscent to a lot of beans that are out there. These, you wouldn't, you wouldn't look at these and go, oh, those are those are special beans. You'd go, no, those are Pete's. Those are Don Pablo. You'd say those are Starbucks beans. These are very, very common looking beans. They're the larger of the, the bunch. Um, I'm not seeing any imperfections, so that is a big thumbs up. And the smell that's coming off of them now is getting better and better. It's got a sweet yet powerful smell to it. Um, yeah, these beans are definitely roasted correctly and they look absolutely amazing. They don't have the large, they definitely don't have the most oil that I've ever seen. I think Pete's holds the oil record in terms of my opinion. They're, I've had beans from them that were literally like dripping oil and almost clogged up my burr grinder. Um, but yeah, these look absolutely amazing, very professional, very well roasted and definitely something that could pack a serious punch um coming up we're gonna throw these in the burr grinder and break them down Woo! Okay, let's get back into the kitchen once more. Before we get over to the pour over, let's talk about the Philips Super Automatic that I've been using with this coffee for the past week, and I have a lot to say very quickly. So, first things first, I have fallen in love with this coffee. I know, spoiler alert, whoa, no, that's too much. But until we get to the pour over, we won't really know exactly where we're at. So let's talk about the Philips Super Automatics. I've actually been able to turn down the amount of coffee grounds that I use per cup. So I used to be a solid three uh, light and now I'm down to two lights because this stuff is powerful, people. Woo! 
Woo, it is unreal. There's so much power, so much flavor in there. So you're actually gonna be able to buy this coffee and potentially save money because you're not going to need as much. All right, let's get into the pour over. Go ahead and check the temp. It looks like we're good to go, people. You want it to be about 190, 185. That's optimal. All right, so your first pour, you're basically just going to soak your coffee grounds. You do not want to do anything super, super special. It's very similar to a French press. So just soak it. Let all of the liquid flow out the bottom let it poof up a little bit but this is not going to tell you much of anything it's actually the second pour that is the most crucial which i call the first pour so here we go we're going to hit it with the first pour and we're looking for that super crema we're looking for that that plumage that blooming um, and there it is right there this is a darker roast so you're not going to expect it to be super feather light uh, feather light, no, you're not gonna expect it to be super light in color, but you can see right there, you got some crema, very indicative of a dark roast. And that is what we're dealing with here, people. This is a extremely dark roast. And like always, my pour over likes to hide my stream, so you can't actually see it. There it is right there. You can get a little bit of a glimpse, looking rich and powerful. Come back up to the top. Let's give it the second pour. And there you go. You got a little bit more crema-like appearance on the top, which is what I've kind of started to call what this looks like. Of course, it's not crema because this is not an espresso shot, um, but that is very, it's very similar to the top of an espresso shot. Um, and that's what I go off of. The lighter it is, the more crema um, and the more fresh it actually is. Um, yeah, that is a nice looking stream right there. Typically like to go to about 500 milliliters. Um, you can convert that into ounces if you need to. I will not do that for you. Uh, here we go with the third hit. Still looking very powerful, very strong. Um, the coffee to water ratio is probably gonna be a little bit bananas, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna probably hit the 500 on this pour right here and then we're going to get it into the cup people okay so we're starting off with a clean white coffee mug uh the grand canyon mug will come back at some point but it's definitely on the retirement question mark um i like these white cups because they're all clean and ready to go here we go so we're looking for a nice rich stream with this pour and we're going to learn a little bit more about this coffee because this is a continuous story until the very end people here we go Woo! look at that stream right there people wow that is crazy rich wow that is what you want to see and you're getting those frothy bubbles at the top beautiful looking cup right there wow that is exactly what you want to see when you pour into your cup Man, that is beautiful right there. Woo! Okay, so for optimal sip test, you want to drink your coffee between 130 and 140. I say 135 is perfect. So if you can get it around there, you're actually gonna enjoy a better cup of coffee and it's gonna blow you away. Even the same cup of black coffee you've had before, try it at a lower temperature and you will be absolutely amazed. All right, let's get into this sip test, people. Woo, so excited. Like I said, I have been drinking this coffee, but when you do a pour over as strong as I just did, you're gonna get all the flavor notes. You're gonna get all of the goods from the coffee. You're gonna learn a lot. We're gonna learn a lot. Let's get into this, people. Woo, that smells powerful. I'm not a scientist, but this smells scientific for sure. Woo, that is, woo, that is so powerful. I think if, if you smelled hot motor oil, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It does not smell like that. That smells terrible. <laughs> wow. Holy bananas. That goes down very, very smooth, exactly as you'd want it to. No harshness, no bad taste at all. 
Um, wow, the flavor notes are almost hidden. It's like this burst of greatness that just is butter smooth. Wow. Okay. All right. There's the flavor. Woo! All right, so you've got like this smoky aftertaste. Aftertaste? I can't even talk. You have this smoky aftertaste. You definitely have this sweet uh, note that's flowing through the whole entire sip. Um, wow, that is premium. You could definitely taste that this is a blend of two different coffees, Robusto and Arabica, if I'm not mistaken. And you can definitely taste the difference um, in there. The, 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 the Robusto definitely has this particular taste. It's very harsh. Um, and then the Arabica, of course, is sweet and smooth. So you have like this balance of the two going on as you drink it. And you don't always get it with every sip. So each sip is a little bit different. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. So with the with the uh, Philips Super Automatic, it was definitely coming out a little bit more harsh and not as sweet. With the pour over, I'm getting so much sweet notes. Like, holy bejesus, this thing is the opposite of what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be dangerous in the pour over, but it's actually smoother, sweeter. It's got so much flavor notes that blend amazing together. Like, this is a cup of coffee that is blending so perfectly, but every once in a while, you get this hit of the Robusto, which is very, very harsh. So it's like this, this balance of sweet and, and sour, this sweet and, and harshness, um, which is actually very, very enjoyable. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so you definitely have like this smoky, sort of aromatic uh, flavor going on. And wow, that is absolutely amazing. Definitely a powerful cup of coffee. Like I said, you're going to be able to use a lot less of this than you normally do. So if you put in three tablespoons, you're only going to need to put in two. If you, um, yeah, just, just lessen, <laughs> lessen the amount because this truly is powerful coffee. But it doesn't give you jitters. It doesn't make you feel like you're over-caffeinated, which is absolutely amazing. I was a little bit afraid. I was like, oh no, this is gonna mess up the tum-tum. Does not mess up the stomach at all. Um, so if you have a sensitive stomach, don't worry. I don't believe this is gonna cause any problem. All right, let's go ahead and give it a star rating. So I'm gonna give it a 4.95. Yes, people, 4.95, the first ever on this channel. It's not quite a five star cup of coffee for me personally but it's so so close it's absolutely amazing and the fact that it has so much difference in the Philips Super Automatic versus the pour over says a lot yeah this is definitely a cup of coffee you're gonna wake up for you're gonna be like yes I get to have a cup of coffee best part of my day um, you're definitely going to be able to eat this, eat this. You're definitely going to be able to drink this with something a little bit more salty. Um, you're going to be able to maybe do some breakfast food or something. Um, definitely a, a, a mildly sweet uh, pastry for sure. Um, I'm thinking some baklava maybe. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Definitely worth the wait. I've been waiting to buy this coffee for like two years now. I just never could justify the price. But because the price is so high and it's so strong and I use less, it kind of balances out. So you're going to go through this bag slower. Yeah, you're going to spend more money, but you're going to go through it slower. And in, in the end, it's going to probably break even, I think. 4.95 star rating. Woo! Buy it, drink it, love it. All right, there you go. That's the Death Wish Dark Rose Coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click it and clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 4K. Yes, people, on my way to 5K, mind a blown. Can't believe I'm almost there. Well, I'm not even almost, I'm, I'm almost halfway there. <laughs> But I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. 
But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.